Hey art friends, today we're drawing another character from Bad Guys the Movie. Who are we drawing this time? Miss Tarantula. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your markers, some paper, and... Something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw two guide points in the middle of our paper. This is for the spacing in between her eyes. And we're going to draw about there. That much space. And then we're going to draw the top of her eyes. We're going to start here on the left side. We're going to come up and then we're going to go over the top of her eye and we'll do the same thing over here. Come up and then over the top of her eye. And we want these to be the same size on each side so you can try to match them with your eyes. Now let's draw the inside of her eyes. We're going to draw the letter U right here and also over here. And it looks like an oval shape, part of an oval so that the top of her eye is underneath her eyelid. Now let's draw the bottom of her eye. I'm going to start here on the left side and we're going to curve down and then under, but I'm going to stop before we get to the pupil and we'll do the same thing over here. We'll curve down, under, and then right to the pupil. And also the top of her eyelid can come out just a little past. So it looks like an eyelash on each side. Yeah. All right, now we're ready to draw her head. We're going to start right next to her eye and we're going to draw a U shape that comes underneath. We're going to come under like this for her chin. And then we're going to come back up over here and connect to the other side. Well, not really connect, but just a big U shape that comes over to the right side. Yeah, and then we can add her smile and I'm going to draw a cute little curve that comes up higher on the right side. Now let's draw the top of her head. We're going to extend the left side up a little higher and also the right side too. And then she has this really cool hairstyle. We're going to curve in and then back down for a little zigzag. And then we're going to curve back up a little higher and then come back down and then we'll draw another little curve coming up for a zigzag and then we'll curve down and let's add one more little one to connect into the other side of her head. Kind of looks like fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now let's draw her eyebrows. We're going to draw one eyebrow up higher. So we're going to come up like this and then down. And let's make it look thicker. We're going to draw a short line up. And then we'll start at this little line and we'll connect over to the left side. So it's thinner towards the outside. And then we can color in that shape. Now let's draw her eyebrow over here. We're going to draw it different. We're going to draw it curving just kind of over the over her eye and not coming up. And then we're going to draw the short line up in the middle and then connect to the outside to a point. And then we can color in that shape too. We drew her head. Now let's draw her body. We'll start with her neck. We're going to draw a small letter U underneath her chin. And then we're going to draw her headphones. So let's draw a oval shape, an oval shape right here on the left and also on the right. And then we can draw the outside of the headphones. We're going to draw the letter C. Come around and connect to the bottom and a backward C for the other side. Come around and connect to the bottom. <laughs> Let's also add an extra detail. We're going to draw two curves right down the middle. There's a little blue stripe or kind of a blue green stripe on her headphones. So we can draw two little curves on the left and also on the right. And then she was wearing a sweatshirt that she liked to put her hands in the pockets. So let's draw the pocket first on her belly. We're going to draw a line across the headphones. Then we can draw two lines down on each side. And then let's connect those at the bottom too. Okay, now let's draw her arms connecting into her pocket. So we're going to draw a little line down and then an elbow. So it bends and then comes into the pocket. 
Let's do the same thing on the right side. A little elbow and then connect down to the pocket. And then we can draw the other side of our arm, just maybe a straight diagonal line that connects from the sweatshirt into the headphones. And we can also draw the end of her sleeve right before her arms go into the pockets. That's the top of her body. Now let's start drawing her tarantula legs. We'll start over here on the left side and we're gonna draw the top of her leg first. We're gonna come out to the side and then we're gonna bend down And let's make it match on the other side too. So we can start here where her arm is, we'll come out and then a curve for her knee and then bend down. And then the end of her leg is really big. So we're gonna curve around like this, come back up and look how it gets a little closer towards her knee. And then we'll come across over to her body and then right at the end, we could draw a curve to connect in. Let's do the same thing on this side. We'll draw a big U shape for the bottom of her foot and we want these two to match. And then we'll come back up and get closer to her knee. And then we'll curve in for the underside of her leg and then up into her body. <laughs> now let's draw the bottom of her body right here. We'll draw a curve that connects the two legs together. Well, she doesn't really look like a spider yet. We need to add three more legs on each side and we're gonna draw them overlapping. So let's first start over here. We can draw one more leg coming out further. So I'm gonna draw this one coming down like this, curve around, come back up and then in. Let's also add one over here. Maybe this one could be a little bit different. We'll have it coming up higher. And then we'll curve down. And I'm gonna curve in like this. On this one, you can make this leg a little thinner by starting here, come up to the knee, and then also back into the other leg. Oh, that's awesome. I love that it looks different. Both of our drawings look a little different, but they're turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours too, because the most important thing is to have fun and practice. And practice. All right, let's keep going. Now let's draw another leg on the right side. I'm gonna draw it coming up kind of high, and then I'm gonna come down like this, and then in. So this one's a lot different. And then I'm also gonna add that little line on the inside to make the legs thinner at, up at the top. We're not drawing all of the leg because it's overlapping. It's behind the other one. This makes it look more 3D. Okay, now let's add another leg on the left side. This one we're just gonna draw not even very much at all. We just draw the top of it. Oh, and then maybe it comes down here and we can see the other side. We need one more leg, we could draw a foot. Let's just draw it right here, underneath all of the other legs. Well, maybe you could see the little knee over here too. And then let's add one more foot or leg on the right side, and we'll just draw part of it right there. And then let's also draw the knee that you can see just in the background. We did it! We finished drawing Miss Tarantula. Well, she's not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring Miss Tarantula. She looks super cute all colored in. Yeah, it looks so much better colored in. Yeah, I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings. You can pause the video to match our same coloring. We use our biannual alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set, the main color that we used was Y505, that's an orange color. And then we also use this purple color. R614. Yeah, for her legs and also her body. We hope you had fun drawing Miss Tarantula. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.